If you don't get those, then you lose. So it's just it's just a super. It's a it's a cheat class. If you don't get to cheat, then you don't win. You have to cheat to win. That's why I hate to play on stream. I know there's been requests that like, can you play some Malagos Druid? And like, it's it's a cancer deck right now. Everyone's playing it. Any streamer, every streamer is playing it. Just watch them. There's there's absolutely no point to watch me play that kind of crap. I have two two drops. So let's, let's start with this. It's too expensive. He needs to roll Taunt Totem. You may not agree, but... If I play in Azoth Pally, I, if I meet a lot of druids, I usually tech in a Leroy to combine with Consecration. I, I like the Leroy. I think the one of the, one of the downsides in Azoth Pally is it has no burst potential, but if you put in Leroy, that fixes that problem. So I like it. I actually really like that kind of tech. And potentially you put in a Blessing of Kings too. Hopefully no Hex. Now Druid can't deal with a Zop board, it's usually a race. Yep. So glad he kills it, so I get the coin. The death battle will trigger. This is interesting. If we, I think you have to bait out one hex. I don't feel safe playing this until I've seen one hex, and then uh, then I'll play this. So Barnes Abyss. And then we can trade this. What's the other option? Backstab fan? No, just Barnes and then the this. Okay, not the worst one. stick here. Is that ever worth sapping? Or we should just kill it cleanly right now? I'm gonna do fan. Fan of this. We got two saps now. Down. So we have we always have something even if he tries to play an AoE, this will always stick. Then we have uh, we can try to gain some tempo with the sap. So we play this, we sap something, we play this, we play another sap. That kind of thing.
I'm overloaded for three, but um, if I want to make sure I clear the Manatai totem, then I need to zap it. And I think I think clearing the Manatai is going to be pretty important here. And I still have a one five on board too. Like he he has to hex, and I can still play thing from below on the following turn. He's overloaded at at this turn too. So we're like we're kind of both hurting on overload. Yeah, he has X. Okay. So trade trade. Now we're looking for rag and Nazoth. Both loot hoarders have died. One husk, one huckster, one pillager. So it's a really good, it's a really good Nazoth. That's also reasonable to sap. We just have to play around it, like with our dagger. <coughs> Drake first. Once you got Earth Ellie from Swash and he didn't have Hex for three turns. Damn. That's really sick. Okay, is that lethal? If I sap it. Um, I'm one mana off from lethal. I haven't seen his thing from Below's. How cheap is it? Ancestral knowledge. Probably a thing from Below's then. Alright, Agent, I saw that you cut a fan of knives from the list, right? You decided that wasn't worth it? I think with Thalnos and Drake's, <clears throat> it's okay to have one fan of knives. Two is like, a bit excessive without prep, because it is a really expensive cycle. I'll keep it this for the Imp King boss. Not Imp King boss. The Flame Wankers. Whatever. They're all, they're all the three mana two fours. They're annoying to deal with. Freeze Mage. <clears throat> With Druid though, I don't feel comfortable switching to Mill Rogue. I was gonna say if there's a lot of Freeze Mage or Control decks, then we play Mill Rogue, which is more fun. Fan is probably worth cycling though. Unless I get two drop, then I do I do Squire into two drop. If not, I'm I'm fine cycling the fan. Hmm. Hello. Would you ever coin out anything? That was folly. Let's drink Drake. Hopefully, draw a rag in the top half of the deck. Interesting. 
Interesting. Hey, Star Crunch, good to see you. Would Zombie Chow be played in this meta if it was a standard card? Yeah, definitely. Zombie Chow is a great card. Thank you. It was so, it was so good. Kind of sad it went away. It was really good in Priest, too, because you could convert it into um, damage with Akanai. And Priest has health buffs, so getting a Zombie Chow on turn one is really. It's really good. Interesting. Hey, Figar, Figarka, welcome to the stream. Like, maybe it's not as good these days, because of, um... What do you got? The, um, the Septus. A lot of 1-3, there's a lot of 1-3 drops now. Like, 1 mana 1-3. But before, Zombie Chow basically traded every single 1 drop. O oftentimes a lot of 2 drops as well. If you replays in, I want to preserve my board. I have the option to R. Horse Rider, Abyss, and Dagger. Perhaps. Well, given that everything is pretty weak to Blizzard, if you know about Dooms, I'm not sure if it's even worth saving it, because he just Blizzards next turn and kills off most things. You can also point out the blizzard here. Slow chat? No, I think it's... I don't think chat is slow for the size. <clears throat> Torch face. Give me an ice block. And then Drake into Rag. That's not too bad. Loot Hoarder can still draw into Rag. Pointing out Rag would be amazing. You like this deck type? Yeah, it's a tempo. Tempo rogue. Perhaps. It's a little bit different from the normal rogue that you see. Today I was even out tempoing dragon warriors, just like tempo warrior. Gil. I wonder if he has connection issues or he's just thinking. Nova Doom. So if I do missiles. Strikes, we get we get a card from Loot Hoarder. We still have stuff on board, so if I get if I get Cold Blood, we can still trigger it. Oh my god, there we go. There we go. Turn A rag. Seems good. That's what you need. 
Now you can't coin out Alex. He needs to get the the ice block set up. I'd really love to play the rogue, but missing Edwin, do you think it's even worth it? You don't need Edwin. Edwin's not critical to rogue. Just put like another horse rider in for this deck. If that's all you're missing. A card I miss in standard Lothab. I do miss Lothab a lot too. It's an amazing card. Okay, so he has to burn damage on it. And we have 7 damage, but we're not lethal. Need this. Deadly Poison, Cold Blood. It's like 25% chance I draw into those. And Zoth is not bad either. I get 2 Pillagers back, 1 Loot Hoarder, 1 Thalnos. No, Thalnos is my hand. Just Loot Hoarder. It does put on a lot of pressure. You already played one Flame Strike. <coughs> flame Strike doesn't even kill the Corruptor as well. Yeah, he still needs to develop the Ice Block. But at this point, he's so low on health that he essentially has to either have both Ice Blocks in his hand, he develops Ice Block, and then he starts throwing Burnout Face. Because I'm going to just keep popping the block. So he's not going to... I don't think he's going to be able to fit in Alex on my face. He's going to ping my Loot Hoarder. What is that about? He's just going to... I guess he's just going to freeze everything. Feels good. So much burn. So much burn. Well, so now we have the floor. No wait, we're still a little bit off. This, this guy's frozen. I just want to maximize his chances I draw into lethal or ice block. <clears throat> I also have lethal with horse rider at SI. Oh, also, I don't have space though. If he freezes my board, he needs to have another Nova. If he blizzards, that's fine, I have space. But otherwise, if he just plays Nova, I don't have space for the. I don't have space for the SI. Maybe I should have thought about that. Probably didn't need to play everything. Like, probably didn't need to play Thalmos, just play the Loot Hoarder and the. the. Huckster. Sweet. 
the hero power value. Seems good. Anytime a free smash dies makes you happy. Leja, come on, we play free smash here too. I don't mind it, just to say that uh, they're favored against this. They're usually favored against Rogue, besides Mill Rogue. So it does feel it does feel nice for us to win this matchup. How consistent would you say this deck is, though? I think it's really consistent. I was using it on Asia today and also on EU. So I'm a hit from rank four, maybe middle of rank four or bottom of rank four on both servers to hit rank three. Perhaps. So I think it works fine. So I have ten damage here. Uh, he might have a Frostbolt. <laughs> so right now he's thinking about whether or not he should freeze this guy too. But he's greedy about keeping the Frostbolt. Dex Afalak, I hope you make it to Legend. Thanks, Pwned. Hope you're having a good evening. 